As it is written, There is none righteous, not even one. Indeed, there is not a righteous man on earth who continually does good and who never sins. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Now the deeds of the flesh are evident, which are sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, outbursts of anger, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, envying, drunkenness, carousing, and things like these. Those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, this he will also reap. Yahweh knows the thoughts of man, that they are vanity. The hearts of the sons of men are full of evil, and madness is in their hearts throughout their lives. Afterwards, they go to the dead. The heart is more deceitful than all else, and is desperately sick. He who trusts in his own heart is a fool. And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the great and foremost commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang the whole law and the prophets. For Yahweh is righteous. He loves righteousness. The upright will behold his face. Holy, holy, holy is Yahweh of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. But like the Holy One who called you, be holy yourselves also in all your conduct. Because it is written, You shall be holy, for I am holy. Though you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may know and continue knowing that the Father is in me and I in the Father. Your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you so that he does not hear being darkened in their mind, alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the hardness of their heart. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. He who does wrong will receive the consequences of the wrong which he has done, and that without partiality. The soul who sins will die. But God demonstrates his own love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. For the wages of sin is death, but the gracious gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. For God has not appointed us for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us so that whether we are awake or asleep, we will live together with him. And he died for all, so that they who live would no longer live for themselves, but for him who died and rose again on their behalf. He who indeed did not spare his own son, but delivered him over for us all. For Christ also suffered for sins once and for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, so that he might bring you to God, having been put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit. For I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. For the death that he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life that he lives, he lives to God. Even so, consider yourselves to be dead to sin but alive to God in Christ Jesus. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the full knowledge of him, so that you, the eyes of your heart having been enlightened, will know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the surpassing greatness of his power toward us, who believe according to the working of the might of his strength, which he worked in Christ by raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavenly places. Humble yourselves in the presence of the Lord, and he will exalt you. Yahweh is near to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. For godly sorrow produces a repentance without regret, 
leading to salvation, but the sorrow of the world brings about death. For I confess my iniquity. I am full of anxiety because of my sin. He was pierced through for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The chastening for our peace fell upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. All of us, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way, but Yahweh has caused the iniquity of us all to fall on him. And he summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospel's will save it. For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? For what will a man give in exchange for his soul? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, the Son of Man will also be ashamed of him when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. None of you can be my disciple who does not give up all his own possessions. In this you greatly rejoice, even though now, for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the proof of your faith, being more precious than gold, which is perishable, even though tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Therefore repent and return, so that your sins may be wiped away, in order that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. He who conceals his transgressions will not prosper, but he who confesses and forsakes them will receive compassion. But he gives a greater grace. Therefore it says God is opposed to the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Be subject therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel of God and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The scripture has shut up everyone under sin so that the promise by faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And though you have not seen him, you love him. And though you do not see him now, but believe in him, you rejoice with joy inexpressible and full of glory, receiving as the outcome of your faith the salvation of your souls. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our transgressions according to the riches of his grace. To the Lord our God belong compassion and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against him. Who can forgive sins but God alone? And without faith it is impossible to please him. For he who draws near to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who seek him. And the witness is this, that God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He who has the Son has the life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have that life. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, so that no one may boast. Who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus from all eternity, but now has been manifested by the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. He saved us not by works which we did in righteousness, but according to his mercy, 
through the washing of regeneration and renewing by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out upon us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we would become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. That if you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart a person believes, leading to righteousness, and with the mouth he confesses, leading to salvation. Then Jesus again spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will never walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another even as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things passed away. Behold, new things have come. And Peter said to them, Repent, and each of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus came up and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to keep all that I commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Since you have, in obedience to the truth, purified your souls for a love of the brothers without hypocrisy, fervently love one another from the heart. For you have been born again, not of a corruptible seed, but incorruptible, that is, through the living and enduring word of God. The one who says he abides in him ought himself to walk in the same manner as he walked, who himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, so that having died to sin, we might live to righteousness. By his wounds you were healed. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. The one who does not love does not know God, because God is love. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins, so that he might rescue us from this present evil age, according to the will of our God and Father, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen.